In this video, we're going to look at templating with PHP. We're not going to be using any particular templating engine. We're just going to use raw PHP templating and just look at how uh, templating just within PHP works. So you probably come across a point where inside of a file you're wanting to output HTML. And there are a couple of ways to do this. Obviously, the preferred solution would be to use some kind of framework or some kind of better structure where you separate your views from uh, your logic. But in this case, we're just going to do all of our logic at the top of this page, and then we're going to output right at the bottom. So this is sort of the next best thing. So we would close off a PHP tag here, and we would create some kind of HTML structure down here where we can actually output something. So typically what you might do is, if we just get rid of this for now, you might say, well, I'm going to... I don't know, create an array of items. So you can create an array like this, and we could say, I don't know, uh, item one, item two, and item three. These might be items coming from a database or an XML file or a JSON file, whatever it is. But you would typically, you know, do a for each loop. So you would go over each of these items, call that an item, and then you would echo out, say, item. And then you might do like a comma if you were using echo and you might do a BR on there or something like that. So we get the following result. We just get item one, item two, item three. And if we look at the page source, they're just separated by BRs. Obviously, this is acceptable depending on what you're doing. But generally, it does tend to get a little bit messy, particularly when you're doing something like the following. So, for example, say I wanted to create an unordered list, which looks like this. And it has list items within it. That looks a bit funny because of the highlighting, but that, there we go. You get the idea. We can have multiple list items. And this is just the correct way to list unordered items with uh, markup. So what we would typically do is, or what you might do, which is extremely bad practice, is you might echo a UL here. You might echo an ending UL down here. And then you might just for readability indent this for each loop. And then you might echo out list item here. And then within this, you might comma separate this, or you could even concatenate it. Uh, there's not really much of a difference. Um, and then you might just output item like that. And that would give you the following. So we're still generating markup here, but as you can see, this does look a little bit messy. Um, there are other ways we can do this. We could break out of PHP here and break into PHP here and get rid of our PHP code. So we could do that down here as well. Oops, just end that. And then we could do the unordered list there and indent that like so. So there's a few ways that we can do this. We could even do that there as well. So we could break out here. We could do li, li, and then do break into PHP and out again and echo item. So that's another way to do it. And it works exactly the same way, but it's still looking a little bit messy. So in this video, we're going to look at a couple of things that we can do within uh, PHP. And we'll look at a couple of examples, so just echoing. Um, and then we'll look at things like looping as well and if statements. But apart from that, you'll generally get the gist of the syntax. So what we're going to do is we're going to end our PHP tag there. Normally on a page with just PHP, we wouldn't, but we're going to do that. And we're going to create um, a HTML5 markup, uh, basically a basic document uh, layout here. So the idea here is to cleanly or as cleanly as possible using raw PHP templating uh, is to output the uh, unordered list and the list items within here. Well, let's do this now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all use an if statement to check if there are any items in here. So we could do the following PHP and end PHP tag. And this allows us to use uh, shorthand syntax like the following. So this is a little bit different because we don't have a curly brace here. Usually what we would do is we would have, I'm sure you know this, is something like that. But in this case, what we're doing is we're just saying if, and then our uh, expression can go inside of our parentheses. We've then got a colon on the end. So we're going to say if not empty items. So empty is just going to check if um, this has any items in. And then we're going to come down. And we're going to open and close another PHP tag, and we're going to say else, again with a colon on the end. So pretty much like you would chain on to the end of your uh, curly braces, you would have an else there. And then you would also then have an end if with a 
final uh, uh, terminator, so a semicolon. So otherwise, what would we want to do? Well, we want to output a paragraph, and we're just going to say, sorry, there are no items. Now, otherwise, we want to loop. So instead of pulling this down and causing an extra line, which can get a little bit confusing, we're just going to come down here, and we're going to open and close tags again. And we're going to use the for each again. And you'll probably already guess, we just bung a colon on there. And then we come down here. And this time, this is a little bit different, because usually with the for, uh, for each loop, you would end like this. But we've done the same here with end if. Uh, you just say end for each, like so. Um, so inside of the for each um, here, we're going to say for each items as item. And then in here, what we can do, in fact, up here, this is what makes it really, really simple. Because we've not brought this down, we've basically just got single lines here. So I've actually forgotten to insert the UL. So I just come down here and I put the UL in. I come down here and I end that UL there. And then what I can do is within here, I mean, you could even indent this, to be honest. It is entirely up to you. Uh, you would add your list item. Here, though, we've got two levels of indentation. So you may want to just stick with doing something like the following or something like that. So it's entirely up to you. Um, either way, we've now got our list item. So what we can now do is we can use the um, short echo, which as of, I think, PHP 5.5 or 5.6 maybe, uh, this will be on by default in the config. Um, you might usually see um, this turned off in the config or it really depends between different servers. For maximum compatibility, I'd say use the uh, normal tag like this and then you would just echo item. Otherwise, what you can do is you can use the shorthand and this involves removing echo and it's an implied echo. So we have a uh, opening, a short opening tag and equals and then the item, you don't even have to have the semicolon. I like to add it if I do do this, but you don't necessarily have to. It probably looks a little bit cleaner that way. And that gives us exactly the same result. So we've got the same markup here. We've got our document. We've got an unordered list opening, three list items, and an unordered list. And obviously, if we were to remove the items from here and just have an empty array, there we go. We get our sorry there are no items message. So this is how you can uh, very basically template your, uh, your output if you are not using a templating engine. If you do want to use a templating engine, that's a really, really good way to go because it does provide uh, much cleaner syntax, basically. So there's a little uh, bit about PHP templating or raw PHP templating. You can use other control structures here. So for example, while loops, uh, just an if statement and if else. We've seen an example of uh, an if and a for each here. But you can go ahead and use what you need.